Hi, my name is Richard Brummel and I'm an auctioneer at Chard House here in Sherbourne and it's time for our walk and talk around the auction coming up on Friday the 22nd of July. We've got around about 850 lots here with a lot of pictures and prints, it's our big picture sale. We've also got the usual sort of smattering of pottery and porcelain, we've got Dutch, Delft, we've got Japanese items. These are always a bit of fun. It's a Dutch barber's bowl. There we are. So obviously, so the uh, when you're having a bit of a bit of a shave in the morning, this is probably this is probably pre Gillette. Um, the best the man can get. There we go. Good strap line. So I'll go around there. So a bit of a shave and a bit of a wash around that. So again, a lot of we do a lot of ceramics here, continental, European. We've got cheese dish covers. Wouldn't it be fantastic to afford a bit of cheese big enough to go underneath that? We've got Dalton, Japanese, Chinese, more bits and pieces. But up here. We've got a great selection of pictures. This one here, this is by Leon Le Hermite. I'm not certain if I pronounced that right. I'm, I probably, I probably haven't, have I? And again, lovely with the, the, the sort of peasant farmer here hoeing away. That's actually quite a valuable picture. That's in between 8,000 and 10,000 pounds, but a little bit more modestly priced and maybe a little bit more traditional again is this classic Thomas Bush Hardy. Here we are, and they're bringing in the boats here. Um, you've got all the, all the women clucking around like sort of mother hen there, and they're landing the catch and they're all getting excited. And for a good Victorian Thomas Bush Hardy watercolour, four to six hundred pounds, for a similar money is this Rudy Noody. And this is quite interesting because this is by a modern artist called Jonathan Waterridge. Now, Jonathan uh, was at Malvern. Uh, with the person who he gave this picture, and so they're in the sixth form there, and uh, you know you can see his talent coming out there, and basically it's inscribed on the back of it, Dear Gav, on your 18th birthday, hope you had a great day and got drunk, was the effect of. Now, that's in between £500 and £1,000. It is in essence a schoolboy composition. The last picture Jonathan Waterridge sold made $500,000. So, very different painting style to where he was when he was 18, but quite a quite interesting one. It wouldn't surprise me if that one does very, very well. But again, just coming up, all the ceramics and bits and pieces, I've gone backwards on myself, but nothing new about that. Collection of shipping line memorabilia, picnic baskets and bits and pieces, more pictures here. Again, traditional here with a lovely young lady with a little plane with a doll. We've got more shipping and bits and pieces. We have moo cows, we have clocks, we have, this is what my kids, my kids would say to me, Dad, where do I plug this in? It's a, a tabletop polyphon player there. We've got, oh, oh, here we go. This is one of the more bonkers lots I, we, we've got in the sale here. Now, I don't think anybody's gonna recognize him, but maybe one of the most unusual table lamps you will ever see, so that's how it goes. And there we go, if you look in here, all fitted out, um, obviously to be, to be sorted out by a qualified electrician before use, and uh, what better table lamp for your children's bedrooms. I mean, if you had that, you would wake up screaming and shouting. But again, okay, quite an interesting thing. Um, I've never sold one before, estimate of two to 300 pounds. Again, we've got a few globe trotters, here we go. We've got, for example, on here, some that say New Holland, which is rather than Australia. So quite interesting. Nice little collection of globes. More clocks, more pictures. We've got maps, modern art. We've got Canon. You name it, we've pretty much got it. Large collection of maps down here. Modern mobiles and bits and pieces. With this is quite interesting again. Uh, Edward Besson here. Again, most of his pictures tend to be more sort of river estuaries. So that's quite nice to be flowers. Um, so that's come from a client in Wiltshire who's moving and downsizing. More boxes, caddies, clocks, more of the same. So that's a bit of a walk or talk in here, but we've got two more sirens this way. So it's gonna have a, I said, come on. This is, a, this is George's first time doing the videoing here. He's, he's now smiling, which you can't see, but I can. So up through here, get more pictures up on the walls and lots of furniture. And just here on my right, that's it, if you want to squeeze on past, that's it. Not too much camera shape there, George, well done. I've got a couple of lots from the ceramic section. Um, now, I've only been doing this for 30 years, and in 30 years, I've never seen a little collection of Dalton stoneware condiments made in the form of bears. Lovely original fitted box there. And we've got an estimate of about a thousand pounds on that. Um, quite interesting. But one thing I have seen this sold many, many times is this Lalique uh, opalescent glass bowl here. Lovely 
with a fish around it and a little eek bowl like that, two, three, maybe 400 pounds, always a very good market for them. But also a very good market is all the furniture and bits and pieces and quick talk on some of the furniture. And one of my favorites, lots of the author dealer as well, again, more modern art. Um, yeah, there we go, maybe enough said on that. Um, up through here, we've got fireplaces and wardrobes. We've got long case clocks. We've got this fantastic sign. Now, George will have no idea what one and fourpence is, um, but that's not a lot of money. Now, lovely enamel sign there. Big market for automobilia. What else do you put in your man cave but your BP sign there? And a sign like that is probably two or three hundred pounds. And I even really like all the sort of the damage to it. You know, it's a very honest looking thing. If it was all clean, bright and shiny, you wouldn't like it, you think it's new. So nice in its all sort of organic state. So sort of moving on around, we've got furniture, we've got chairs, more pictures. We've got hall stands, quite an unusual hall stand here. Um, we've got serpentine front chest of drawers. We've got bureau, desks and bits and pieces. Uh, we've, got, we've actually got some racing um, overalls here as well. Now, unfortunately, they don't have it in a size, um, I'm a size medium, and uh, these are all size small, so I couldn't get into those. But quite interesting with the history behind that. We've got more enamel signs over there. We have sort of little oily cans. We've got a filtrate super lithium grease. There we are. It says here, the secret is the quality. Um, so again, when you've got your sort of your, 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 your garage and your man cave, great little bits and pieces just to have dotted around it up. Very big, strong market for the automobilia. We've got, now you know I can't resist a hat. We've got a, I don't know. <laughs> there you go. One size fits all. Little racing hat there. More racing hats, lots of books. We've even got part of an old Woolsey car. Now, the actual the, the, the headlights and that do light up as well. Again, great, great bit of fun. We've got steering wheels, we've got hip flasks. Now, they say don't drink and drive, but we've got a lovely little coat. No, nothing in it. Lovely little collection of Rudd Speed hip flasks. These were sold in Harrods in the 1960s and other upmarket shops here. We've got Bentley radiator grills. We've got Rolls Royce. We've got Mercedes Benz. We've got Bugatti. Again, all the iconic designs. And they're between 200 and 400 pounds each. And again, one thing which is ideal for your man cave, uh, when I grew up, I went to man cave, is this wonderful, um, Anglo-Bavarian ales of local interest here, just from, up the road from Shepton Mallet here. It's got its uh, thermometer with it here, and lovely, lovely sign. Um, and for a, for, a, for a sort of pub mirror type marketing advertising sign like that, that'll probably do two, three, four, maybe even 500 pounds. I've got to be careful whilst I put that down. So a little bit of the usual sort of quick walk and talk through the 850 lots of automobilia, pictures, prints, ceramics, glass, furniture, and all the other bits and pieces. I hope you've all enjoyed it today, and uh, we look forward to getting your bids coming in at the auction. Thank you.